so hashing is an improvement over direct access table the idea is to use hash function which converts a given phone number here we are using the phone number as the key yes or no so that phone number is 10 digit that can be converted into a smaller number and uses a small number as index so for example i need only 1000 data to be stored means this 10 digit value can be converted into a four digit uh, where four or three digits where you can search the value it so it, this will be converted into a hash function which has a small number of uh, small number and uses a small number as index in a table called the hash table so what is a hash function a function that converts a given big phone number to a small practical integer value the mapped integer value is used as an index in hash table so in simple terms a hash function maps a big number or string to a small integer that can be used as index in a hash table so what is the, what are the properties of the hash table a property of a hash table is it may sorry property of a hash function it must be easy to compute efficient efficiently computable and almost all the space in the declared array should be used uh, whereas in the previous case in direct access where the say for example uh, among 10,000 employees 8,000 employees are having the mobile number starting with 9 means there will be more usage where uh, the phone uh, the one which start the index starts with 9 will be occupied more whereas in uh, there there may not be persons in uh, with the phone number starting from 2 or starting from 1 those spaces will be unoccupied and those spaces will be waste wasted so uh, a hash function should uniformly distribute it should uniformly distribute the keys throughout the hash table a value that a hash function returns for a given key is hash address so when you once you apply a hash function then it will generate a small number called hash address a perfect hash function maps every key into a different table locations some of the methods used are these are the methods which are used for generating a hash function a truncation method digit folding method mid square method and division method we'll see one by one so what is a truncation method so let us consider that to generate a hash table address if, for example this is one address <coughs> this is one index now i want to convert this to a hash address so how you you can do that so this has one two three four five six six digits are there whereas i want to store only 100 employees data maybe this is an employee number but i have to store only 100 employees normal case what you will be doing if you are going to store in terms of 100 the employee number then here if you see that uh, I think this is the biggest. So, which means you have to start from 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, that is 6 zeros to this. Or as 9, 9. Let us take 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9. Okay. So, in which case, the in-between space, we I am going to store only these, uh, the, the employee numbers will be like this and I am going to occupy only 100 employee record. In which case, if you start from 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 6 zeros to nine six nines then in between only working imagine the number of uh, array space you have declared okay now instead i am going to declare only 100 uh, space for these employees on the array of size 100 okay so how you can store because i am going to store it in terms of employee number okay the data has been stored how it can be stored so now there is a method called truncation method that's what hashing comes into play the truncation method in truncation method you will be trunking uh, you will be removing some part of this and then using that only you will be accessing but actually this data will be stored in the uh, array but the accessing and storing can be done by following a uh, hash function so what is that truncate the part of the given case so for example if you see this 456 only the last three digits using last three digit we are able to fill up so for example as i said only 100 employees we are going to store and 100 so 456 
or uh, let us say thousand since it is 456 i am going for uh, some thousand because with three digits you can access up to thousand employees so let us uh, follow the thousand employee scheme 456 means uh, or else it will need this much that is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 to 999996 nine, 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 so let me take only three digits from the last three digits so four in the space 456 array i am storing this uh, person's data then in the place 978 at the, under, at the index 978 i am storing this person's data then in place 294 i am storing this person's data and so on so this is a truncation method where you will be able to store based on some key so in this row uh, employee number i take only the last three digit and uh, depending upon the last three digit i am storing okay then since we are using only the last three digits for computing the hash table right? chances of collisions are more in this method what do you mean by collisions so for example i have stored 456 let me say here mm, one minute See here, uh, I'm storing, say for example, this starts from, uh, let me write the index here. Okay. Okay, now here I'm storing some value. This starts from, let us say, this starts from. Okay, now, Say here some 00 array is there. Say let us take 0, 0, 0, 1 will be the next index and so on. At some point it may be 0, 4, 5, 6. Uh, wait. 0, let me take this 1, 3, 7. In between, in between, imagine in between the data are there. Okay. Insert below. Imagine you have some value 001 after that, 2, 3, and so on. Then at some point, 137 is there, and after this, some as again 137, 138 or that. Then let us consider 0, 2, 9, 4. Okay? Yes. Uh, then after some point, again, let us imagine I am not leaving the space at I want of space, I directly give 456. Now, like this. Now, after uh, given this, these are all the indexes. Now, I will, uh, now I can store this data. This data in this. After this truncation, this is the, uh, using the hash, uh, truncation is one of the hash function. So, last three digit, using last three digit, I am able to store the record of this person. Okay, this is an employee number, imagine. I am able to store this. Then again, for 294, I am able to store here. The problem comes when there is a collision. So what do you mean by collision? So for example, we have seen 0456. Now suppose, imagine you have an employee whose number is 883 uh, and then 456. Suppose another employee who is of this type. In that case, if you take the last three digit, again it will be storing here only, which means two uh, persons trying to occupy the same space, same space, uh, same array space. So in that case, this case is called to be collision. Now imagine another person is also coming. 78, 3, 456. Now three persons are trying to take the same place. So this type of storage is said to be where more than one record is, uh, is asking for the same place. We call it as a collision. We will see later how we are going to avoid this type of uh, data. How we are going to store this type of data. Consider this also and so efficiently. Okay. So this is a truncation method. The next one is division method. In this, the hash function is dependent upon the remainder of a division. So for example, if the record is this. So for example, 52 one record, 68. 
99 84 these are all the record so how we can we are going to place imagine you have an array declared an array from 0 to 9 that is 10 elements so how we can divide divided by mod function divided by table size so the record this is the keyword key so 52 mod 10 means it will give 2 so in that position you have to store the 52 68 mod 10 is 8 so here you will be storing the data then 99 99 mod 10 is 9 so in that sense this is a hash function this is the index generated by this hash function this is the, this is called hash function so here you have just storing 99 then 84 mod 10 it is generating 4 so in that 4 you will be storing 84 here again the same problem comes suppose i have another data 74 then what happens 74 mod 10 means it is again 4. So, it will try to store. In that case, we will be storing in the next location. Okay, we will see that later. The next, so first we will see what the method. Then we will see when there is a collision, how we are going to handle that. In this method, firstly, key is squared and then midpoint of the result is taken as the index. For example, suppose uh, we want to place a record of 3101 and the size of the table is 1000. Now, we want to store size of the table is 1000 but the key is 3101 which means is that we have to store if is that we have to allocate the array of up to 3200 suppose 4000 is the next key is it that we have to allocate 4000 spaces no with the given only the size of the table is only 1000 in that we are going to accommodate this there comes the passing function so how it is that one of the method mid square so in mid square you multiply the find the square and you take only the middle value leave the first two value last two value you take the middle value so that is the uh, middle three digits you take this is one of the method so in the place of 162 this data 3101 will be stored this is one one method another one is digit folding method in this method the k is divided into separate parts and by using some simple operation, these parts are combined to produce a hash key. So, for example, this is the key, okay, record. So, now how you can, uh, how you are going to divide. So, let us take from the first, three, three digits, this three, this three, and then the remaining. If it is more, again, you divide three, three. So, this will be divided into parts. Now, after dividing the parts, combine these parts. So, how you will do? You add all these things. You divide this 124. 655 12 then you add all this you get the 791 so this again produce the key within 1000 so in that portion 791 you will be placing this record so these are all the some of the methods hashing functions we will see how we are going to handle the collisions in the next video